Good morning, good people. Happy Sunday. So check it, right? This is uh, Sharif De La Cruz. And I just want to uh, give y'all this last video before the uh, um, end of the year. Whatever, right? Now, this is something that's in my heart. And I'm about to work out, but I wanted to do this really quick. I'm going to do probably two videos in one. So follow me real quick, right? So here's the deal. This video might not be appropriate to the super deep people because I'm going to be very transparent as I state what I'm going to state because God gave it to me the way he gave it to me, okay? All right, cool. So here's the deal. I remember one night, um, uh, you know, I I'm living my life for God, right? And I'm trying to be, you know, do the right thing. And But at the end of the day, I have struggles like everybody else. Um, and in my struggles, you know, I have to have those conversations with God, right? <laughs> so one night I was, you know, lying in bed and I could not sleep. And if I could be honest with you, I was a little hot and bothered. So being hot and bothered, I'm talking to God like Jesus, you know, I'm, I'm trying to live righteous and I don't want to do this, this whole sex thing, but you know, maybe I, you can let me do something that will release this tension, you know? At the end of the day, God said, boy, shut up. And I was like, God, what are you talking about? He said, well, he said, I'm trying to deliver you. He said, if you do that, you won't be delivered. And I said, God, what do you mean? I'm talking about masturbation, okay? So he said, you know, do you understand what masturbation does to you? I said, no, explain that to me. He said, well, you're trying to be delivered and be set free. But at the end of the day, when you masturbate, you're, what you're doing is spiritually, you're connecting to that soul tie once again. And I'm sitting there like, God, what do you mean? He said, <clears throat> see, understand something. Though you may not be physically having sex with the person, but you're still remembering the encounter of the last individual or the previous individuals. So the masturbation connects you to that soul tie. So you really having a soul tie sex. It may, not be, it may not be physical, but that thing connects you to that individual constantly. It's just like a person who's struggling with pornography, right? <clears throat> you may not be trying to have sex, but at the end of the day, you fed your mind, your spirit, that, that, that sight, that idea. So when you have that moment of weakness, now you're remembering um, the idea of what you once saw. So now you're feeding that spirit in your masturbation. So, actually, so in all actuality, you can't walk in deliverance because the Bible says a man without, um, a man without, um, a man without discipline is like a city without walls, a broken city without walls. The thing about it is we have to walk in uh, discipline and understand that the power that we possess. And at the end of the day, if you really want to break that soul tie, and, and basically if you, if you really um, uh, ask yourself, why can I not get rid of this person? Well, if, if for those who struggle with this, if you are masturbating or whatever the case may be, that's why. Because you're connecting to that soul tie with that thing. So you have to re not do it. And, and, and that curse would be broken over your life. Second thing is I want to talk about real quick is I want to say uh, title of this real quick is called um, Why Did They Leave Me, right? Well, a lot of times we're in relationships and we fall in love with people and we wonder why did they leave us, right? Why did they leave us? And the, 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 the reality is this, they left us because we left ourselves. And I'm a victim of that. I left myself at one point, right? Because I fell in love with an individual, but I lost me. And then, you know, the crazy part about what we do is we lose ourselves in people. And then we find, then we find ourselves asking, will they come back? What? No, the question we need to start asking ourselves is, it's time, when do we come back to us? Not worrying about a person who left us, um, you know, when would they, you know, come back? Because again, we always say, you know, they always come back, right? But the reality of it is, is you lost yourself in love or, or, or chasing after that other person. So now that person treated you how you treated yourself. And that's what happened. You got to now fall back in love with you, come back to the reality of who you are, walk in the confidence in which God has designed for your life and never be concerned about someone leaving your life. The thing about it is you're, yes, it's okay to be in love with somebody, but don't lose yourself in people. Because people will always disappoint you, they will always hurt us, but at the end of the day, you gotta stop hurting you. At some point, you gotta say, you know what, I don't deserve this. At some point, you gotta say, you know what, I'm sorry to me, I apologize to myself. So people leave you because you lost yourself first. Never lose yourself in somebody else. Lose yourself in God, love you, 
And at the end of the day, the person that is for you will never depart your life. I promise you that. God bless the street of the cruise. Listen, the matters of the heart too is coming to you 2016. I pray to see everyone. I hope that this message is blessed and touches your lives. Remember, break the soul tie, flee from masturbation at the same time, fall in love with you again. And that way, the person that is for you will never leave because you never left yourself. God bless 2016. I'm ready, guys. Pray for us. Bye-bye.